Big news! House of the Dragons is not giving to give you 10, but 8 episodes only. Disappointed? Right? So the episode that will be released now is going to be the finale episode. In this video, we're going to discuss everything about the upcoming finale episode and what we expect out of it. Stay with us till the end to get a sense of what you might find out. Let's get started. Lots of things have changed from the books, mostly with the dragon sea figures. In episode 8, some of these changes will happen. We hear Kristen Cole's voice at the beginning. He's on the march from the east to Heron Hall with the Green Army. From the west comes the Lannister army, led by Jason Lannister. They want to make Daemon fight on two fronts at the same time. Lord of House Hightower, Ormond Hightower, is coming from the south. But he has trouble with friends who want to get back at Kristen Cole for killing Lord Baysbury in Season 1. Kristen Cole is a bad guy, but his voiceover in the trailer sounds very poetic. When he talks about the dragons dancing, Rhaenyra and Missaria are seen looking out over the edge and seeing dragons fly. They look like sea smoke and Cyrax, but it's hard to tell for sure. They don't look that big, so one of them might be Silverwing. Silverwing and Vermithor are older and bigger than the others. The show's fight is shown as the dance of the dragons. The Targaryens are at war with each other, and family members are fighting in the sky and on the ground. The Lannister army is still moving forward, and you might be wondering about the Starks. People are questioning, when is Kragen Stark going to be in the story again? What's going on with the Stark family? Since the beginning, we have not seen them. To get his army, Daemon had to go through a lot of trouble, such as having strange dreams and Alice Rivers killing Grover Tully. When we zoom in, we don't see Kragen Stark with them. His main army was up north for worse things, which was likely a reference to the White Walkers. He only sent a small group of older soldiers, and this will happen more in seasons 3 and 4. In the first episode, there were hints that Torin Stark, King of the North, bowed down to Aegon the Conqueror because Aegon told him about the dream about the Night King and the White Walkers. So Torin saw that it wasn't worth to fight it and knew that Aegon was trying to help. This comes up briefly in scenes with Jace and Craig and Stark, but the showrunners didn't want to go into too much detail because George R. R. Martin is still writing new stories for this part of the time frame. This force is Armin High Towers. It is coming from Old Town in the south. As they fly, we see Daeron and Tessarion, a new dragon we haven't seen before. At the Grain Council meeting, it was said that Tessarion would soon join the fight. The only time we thought we might see Daeron and Tessarion was in this episode, maybe in Season 3. However, not much was said about him, and we didn't think we'd see him soon. However, names begin to be dropped in every show, and it turns out that he will be in the last episode. For background, Tessarion is small because it hatched from an egg that was put into Daeron's crib when he was a baby. This is like Jay's and Waymax. Baymax's early life began as an egg that was put into his crib. The size of this dragon is almost the same as Bailey's dragon, Moon Dancer. It sounds like Preston Cole is telling everyone in his army that they will die because of the dragons. He talks the whole time about how the dragons are like nuclear bombs that destroy everything and turn it into ash. This is about the fight of Rogue's Rest, where he saw someone right next to him turn into ash and fly away. Next, we see Crax in Harrenhal. Cyrex is there. Rhaenyra is probably going to meet Daemon at Harrenhal to make plans for how to take King's Landing. There is smoke coming from there. From Vagar's back, Aemon can see a city on fire that isn't King's Landing. It could be Maidenpool in the Riverlands. The goal of Daemon and Rhaenyra is to keep Aemon busy and Vagar away from King's Landing. Rhaenyra prepares a feast for the new dragon seeds to honor them and their dragon babies, such as Jace and Bela. Rhaenyra doesn't know anything about Arena or Sheepstealer, but Sheepstealer might be useful to them. I'll talk about Sheepstealer when we see him in the clip. Dragons like Adam, Seismoke, Vermithor, and Silverwing exist. People are also interested in Silverwing's dragon egg, which was almost stepped on last week. The dragon eggs are very strong and can't hurt you, so don't worry about them. For the Targaryens, dragons are holy. So when Daemon played with one in Season 1, everyone went crazy. Like dragon scales, dragon eggs are very tough and worth a lot of money. The egg wasn't stepped on, but it was moved around. There are likely dragon eggs hidden all over the volcano's dragon caves. Due to the volcano that is not active, dragons sleep at Dragonstone because they lack the heat. 
Rhaenyra and Sea Smoke fly over the River Lords as they go to Harrenhal to talk to Daemon and agree on what to do. We also see Coralise in the bay with his ships. The Triarchy is coming with their fleet, so there may be trouble at the season's end. We don't know what they're doing, but the Battle of the Gullet is coming up. And it looks like it's not time yet. There will be a big fight, most likely in the Riverlands. It's no secret that Liara hates Aemon and wants to get rid of him. Ellicent is back in the Red Keep talking to Aemon at the same time. Helena is also there and she looks very sad in the background. The way they finished the scene made it look like she might try to hurt herself, but the story doesn't say that should happen. At the end of the season, Daemon and Rhaenyra take their dragons to King's Landing to take the city from the Greens. In Season 3, Alicent and Rhaenyra will live close to each other for the first time in a long time. Fans are likely to write a lot of stories about them together, since the writers want to add more scenes with them together. Alicent gets mad at Aemond in their chat, which picks up where they left off when he fired her in the small council room. Many bad things happened to him as a child, and he's still angry about them. This makes him do crazy things. She's also mad at him for killing Lucerys. In the background, Helena is just reading a book in her clothes, not seeming to care about what's going on. Back at Harrenhal, Sir Alfred Broom is talking badly about Rhaenyra to Daemon, saying that she's giving up while Daemon is putting together an army. He was sent by Rhaenyra to check on Daemon and see if he was building an army for her or for her himself. The River Lords agree to fight for Daemon, and they start putting together their troops just as Alfred gets there. Look out over King's Landing at night with Aemon and Helena. It's a beautiful scene. Aemon calls Rhaenyra a fake and talks about how many dragons she has. Though Aemon was a child, Dreamfire almost burned him to death when he rode it. He wants Helena to ride it. Helena doesn't fly into battle in the books, but people are asking if she will. With her dragon dreams, she can see into the future, but she doesn't always understand what she sees. The show has made her a bigger character than she is in the books. Aemon and Vogger are far away and see a city on fire. A lot of people want to know where this is, but it's not King's Landing. It's too small. It is clear to Aemon that Daemon has been gathering his troops in the Riverlands, which is Harrenhal. Jason Lannister asked Aemon and Vogger to go to the Riverlands. There are signs that Team Black wants to trick Aemon, just like Aemon and Preston Cole tried to trick them before. Do you remember Rook's Rest, where they hoped Rhaenyra and her dragon would show up? Aemon thinks he will find someone easy to beat. What if Rhaenyra and Daemon aren't there, though? They might instead be taking King's Landing with their dragons. Rhaenyra may end the season sitting on the Iron Throne by herself. This would be like Daemon's dream of young Rhaenyra sitting on the throne while Daemon watches her. Aemon also puts on his new dragon armor after getting a big raise. Daemon is giving the River Lord's troops a big pep talk and telling them there will be no mercy. The Greens try to get help from the Triarchy, so this force could be theirs. The Triarchy are mostly pirates, so it will be interesting to see what happens. Tyrion Lannister tried to get them to join forces with him. There is a picture of Coralie's Valerian's fleet off the coast of a place that looks like Dorne because it is so hot there. They might be close to the Stepstones, which is where the last big fight with the Triarchy took place in Season 1. Reyna is running through the farmland trying to find Sheepstealer, and Coralie's Valerian is on his way to his ship. Next, we see Otto Hightower draw his sword on Kristen Cole. This could be because they don't agree with each other, or because he doesn't like what Kristen is doing in the war. Due to her lack of trust in Kristen, Alicent asked Otto to watch out for him. A dragon is flying over a fire that has holes in its wings. It looks like a sheep stealer. In the books, the sheep stealer is shown to have holes in his wings, and he may have just burned some sheep. This seems to happen before Reyna takes him, since hints of this have been made all season. Sheep Stealer is Nettle's claim in the books, but the show may be giving Reyna Nettle's story to make her more important. We're also interested in the Cannibal and the Grey Ghost, which are also wild dragons, right? What do you think might happen in the season finale? Do share with us in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.